Welcome back to SA Live. We are giving you a taste of Italian cuisine with a twist here on this fabulous Friday. Oh, joining us is Chef Jeff Forsman from Zoka at the West End Riverwalk to share more. And these are the world famous, mm. now the national meatball of Italy meatball, right? That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> Some of the best meatballs in San Antonio, I guarantee. And, and actually award winning, right? You've been written up and everything. Yes, yes. Okay. we've Look won a couple amazing. awards. They're, they're wonderful. We want to show you guys how to make them today. All right. There are Italian meatballs with a twist because we are in San Antonio. We want to spice them up a little bit. Okay. But we like to start, and Jen, if you want to start off, we have about a pound and a half mm -hmm. of ground beef. So okay. we'll start. The whole that, thing? Put that right All in there. Right. I use equal parts beef and pork. Pork has a little higher fat content, so okay. it's going to add flavor and moisture as well. We put that right in there. Then we'll go with some nice fresh Italian parsley. Oh, okay. And just be very liberal on that. Because a lot of meatball recipes are similar. I mean, as far they as they are the, similar. Yeah, but then this is this couple things that make this different. Now we've taken some roasted poblanos because okay. we're in San Antonio, right? So we we want to spice it up. We also have some roasted jalapenos. We roasted these earlier today. We we taken out most of the seeds okay. and most of the skin. Then we have some caramelized onions as well. Mm -hmm. that we caramelized mm -hmm. earlier. We're going to put a good dollop of those in this there. This keeps getting better. Getting better. <laughs> this is caramelized garlic. So we right. roast the garlic oh, wow. and then puree it. So it's nice and smooth. that gives roasted garlic juice. Just gives it a nice flavor. Yeah, that flavor. Now, Mike, if you want an to egg? crack an egg, you've got to have one egg. That's the binder that kind of keeps it all together. Okay. And then one of the secret things that we do, we like to put some breadcrumbs in, but what you have in your hand is called a we're going to make a panada. I've always heard about up. putting milk in. We put a little bit of milk on some croutons that... On croutons? These, wow. This is made from croissants. Okay. And that, that's about enough. And okay. that, just kind of let that soak in there. So what's the... And so then that's the trick to keep them nice the and croissant, That's going to keep is it that nice. Why? The okay. croissant okay. is very airy. It has a lot of pockets in it. Put the whole thing in. Okay. So you're, now you're adding moisture mm. and it's a binder. And then, of course, we're going to add the different Italian seasonings. We would put in salt, pepper garlic, oregano, fresh basil as well. And when you cook them, you do brown them at first, correct? We, we brown the meatballs off at first. When they're, when they're made like this, once, once we would do that, we would take an ice cream scoop. I okay. scoop them out. This is a nice five to six ounce meatball. Okay. Nice little trick. I like to just make a little hole right in the center like that, Mike. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh. And then we'll take some oh, fresh. fresh. This is something. the fresh buffalo mo mozzarella. We we'll put that right oh, so in the center like that, that so and then that's going to, we'll, again, braise that off, okay. sear it real quick, and let it stew right in the sauce. For how long? About two to three hours. Very low oh. and slow is, is how we is like to say. Is that also part of the, the secret a, to get that really good taste? Oh, and then what are you really putting on top? A little dollop of? A little stop. dollop of ricotta cheese. Oh, that has yes. some jalapenos in it as Can't well. Can't wait to Doesn't try that. Doesn't that look that. good, yeah. Jen? Yeah. And it yeah. tastes for you here, so... <laughs> Yeah. See how he's eating that? And you <laughs> <laughs> are actually <laughs> part of the new, uh, the Jalapeno, jalapeno Fiesta Fest Festival. Festival or Fiesta, which is next Saturday the 13th at the Alamo Beer Company. Come on down and see us. We'll be, we have these meatballs, and you oh. can enjoy them as well. That little bit of a kick from the jalapeno in there. It's just just, just oh a my. nice, nice flavor. Yeah. Let's talk about these. Oh, my God. Let's oh, my talk heads. about these. <laughs> so for dessert, we actually have a jalapeno cupcake. So... This is a concoction that we make using uh, cornmeal, so it's kind of a sweet corn cake, if you will. Okay. Then in the very center of it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass that to you. Should we we open like one? Open, one. Run, open one up. Okay. We've open. made what we call our cowboy <laughs> candy, which is cowboy fre candy? fresh jalapenos, bacon, onions, right, chilies, lots of sugar and honey, mm -hmm. and we let that cook down. So it's sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. We stuff the, the cupcake with that, okay. and then there's a chipotle buttercream <sighs> frosting to go oh with it. Goodness, mm. chipotle buttercream So frosting. it's sweet and mm. spicy, and there's bacon in it. Wow. So it's quite mm. a dessert. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that all you're gonna do, Mike, is eat? Mm -hmm. Okay, well I'll take a bite. Give, tell us more give about- it a little try. Tell us more about your restaurant too, what people experience We have there. a brand new spring menu coming up in April. Oh, wow. You wow. can experience oh, wow. lots and lots of good things. The spaghetti and meatballs is a staple. It's been on our menu for a long time, but we've got some great new dishes as well. Come on down and see us for the spring festival. And talking about the Pardon me, Fiesta Ball, as we call him. Like it's the inaugural <laughs> Jalapeno Fiesta Ball, and that's Saturday the 13th from noon to 5 at Alamo Beer Company. Mm -hmm. For ticket information, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. So basically, you're just taking the 
world famous meatball, adding a little jalapeno to we, it. And then, yeah, we are, we are. And don't forget the medals. And we have something for you and Jen. Oh, we have thank you. our this is our Zoka Weston Fiesta medal this year. It's nice because it's a spinner, so we got fancy this year. But that is for you, and I know you guys are, are you, celebrating Jeff. Fiesta, right. so we wanted to give you that.